find one of these. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
Their vase says you gotta eat dirt. to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. to Meridian. If we find it, I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. This machine's been picked apart with precision.
Forget about traveling light.
What made these food talks attack? I'd better speak to whoever's in charge. It's the third flock we face today. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? I heard the Glint Hawks attacking. They're scavengers. They don't hunt for sport. What's drawing them here? Has to be the blasted Karja. If we're in an era of peace, why am I elbow deep in Glinthawk Bung? They keep coming in waves. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap, not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. What exactly do you do here? As mayor, I order people around. Gotta be playing hammer to get things done. Can't stand those Karja chunks and their flowery talk. But since we helped the Karja get rid of their rotten king, it's been peace and brotherhood and all that dung. You don't think the peace will last? Don't have time for peace. I got Karja merchants begging for a discount on the gate tax and Glint Hawks attacking, which is worse. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel, a card is behind all this.
Glintox sending out a signal. Might be what's attracting the Glintox. Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! What is it? I didn't make it. I scrounged it from a workshop. Whatever it is, ever since it's been on, these Glinthawks have been attacking! I don't know how to make it stop! <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. <sighs> you mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years, but I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world, as we in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. That car just said the workshop was near his campsite on the eastern ridge. later. Thank <laughs> you. 
for me. Here's the scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Find any and destroy them. The machine should leave.
that's it. Nothing to see here. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. So Durval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. space. too prepared.
You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. <laughs>